I have either made the worst decision of my life or it's going to be very fun and rewarding. It may also end up with me being divorced. I am absolutely sweating. So, 38 degrees today. Just in here is the last purchase for today. Hopefully it's still standing. Shall we have a look? Oh, she's still standing. There it is, guys. Here we are. 1983 BMW K100 or as I'm going to refer to it as now basically a bucket of bolts so as you can probably tell this thing doesn't run I bought it as is I did put it in um, second gear and you can turn the motor so not seized which is good can't wait to get my teeth sunk into it but first we need to make a bit of room clean this up get the parts out of there lay them out there's doubles of parts in there i know that a couple of throttle bodies a couple of ecus there we go all tidied wiped down ready for the box of bolts i'll start unpacking some stuff here we are, I've got pretty much the bulk of the contents out of the tubs. A few bits and pieces left in here. Uh, like handlebar switches. No idea. Bits and pieces in there, radiator hoses. Coil packs. Head unit speedo. 138,000 Ks apparently. Got some things in here, you know, got written good some things that are written not good but then so the ecu not good good ecu got a couple of these things that says good that's got nothing written on it lunchbox adapter manual which is definitely going to come in handy oil water pump radiator looks in really good nick there's a few dents on the other side but couple of throttle bodies, not sure why we've got two, but we'll have to find out whether one of them's good or not. Spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti junction, that's going to be fun. Fuel pump, wiring harness with fuse box, air box, new uh, radiator overflow tank. I don't know what's missing and what's there, but we've got a whole bunch of uh original cowlings headlight seat it was chopped from a previous person that was gonna do something with that but we won't be using that the fiberglass cowling that the last owner was gonna use original uh aluminium tank and front fender
Decided to give one of the engine covers a bit of a, a clean up with some paint stripper just to see if I could get that uh, coat of whatever they've put on there off. So, my plan is to leave these strips with the BMW logo silver and then paint the, the whole engine black. Alright, so camshaft's out, started taking the head bolts out, I was going to take the head off, quickly decided that was probably not a good idea at this point, there's probably no need for it to come off, um, realistically all I want to do is paint the engine, um, I'm fairly certain that it's going to be in decent condition, it's fairly clean, looks like someone has had it off before, you can see the crank bearings are all numbered um, there's probably not much point in me taking that engine head off it turns freely goes all the way around it did come across as when I was looking at the bits and pieces so this is the oil slash water pump um, so I think on the other side, so on, so I believe this is the the water pump side here. Now I think this, well, it is snapped. The rotor bolt is snapped off in there. So this shaft is three hundred and twenty Australian dollars. So we're going to try and do see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll just buy a new one. But Got some easy outs here. Give that a go. Look, saint versus sinners, the poor versus riches, top ramen place versus five star dinners. Wonder why I fit it. The humblest beginnings had to take some losses before I saw my first winnings. Silver line grinning, poverty line thinning. My life is like a moving in the plot, just sticking. Came from broken homes, trying to break the old traditions. Left my old ways for my future acquisitions. I know, no such thing as playing both sides. I know, life is better in the dope ride. I know, the water better in the low tide. Music better amplified, staying down for upsides. I know. No such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know Off the 
ignorance Coming from a family drunk cycle and it's belligerent Me, I sip a little bit, maybe a little more Just trying to keep a score Two cups in and knowing my liver sore And knowing I'm into sore And knowing I'm in for more Rewriting destiny right when I hit record Patching up the trauma, these lyrics is near spawn I rose from the concrete away, but it came with thorns, I know I know, I know, I know, I know, I know Playing both sides, I know Life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know No such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified, staying down for upsides, I know No such thing as playing both sides, I know Life is better in the dope ride, I know the water better in the low tide Music better amplified Staying down for upsides, I know No such thing as playing both sides, I know The life is better in the dope ride, I know The water better in the low tide Music better amplified Just got back from one of two uh, BMW part shops we've got here in Perth It's about 40 minutes drive south um, Went down there to pick up some water slash cooling pump uh, parts and it was actually pretty good that I went in because I ended up finding out so yesterday I pressed the gear onto the second shaft that I had uh, but chatting to the bloke in the shop it looks like that's not the right shaft so this shaft here has the threaded end and then this shaft has that thread which seats with the bolt um, so it means I'm gonna have to pull that back off chuck this back in the freezer press that back on but yeah got all the parts new impeller the other impeller the cast iron one isn't anymore so we use this one now little spacer to chuck in there seals and then also got a gasket for the timing cover and some new grommets for the uh, heads, engine covers, just pull the gear off the old shaft and I'll just see if I can press it on without putting the shaft in the freezer, see how we go with it. All right, so that's pressed on really good. Really easy. Just lining that shoulder up. Looks pretty good. And I guess the bonus of that is, compared to the old shaft, it was a bit worn, so this one's brand new. Not gonna have any issues in the future. Get that. 
That's a motorbike.